Okay, sweet. So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Morgan and I'm finally back with a new video. It's gonna be a collective Aritzia haul. So do keep in mind that I've been collecting some of these pieces. I've gone to the store multiple times. I've also ordered online. Um, of course, before we get started, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. If you're not already, make sure that you turn on the post notification uh, and you click on the bell to get notified every time that I upload. I'll also pop my Instagram up on the screen so you can check it out. I tried to post so in love so shout out to my friend Frida can because she put me on she came over one night and she was showing me like an order she had recently placed on Aritzia and she wanted to get some cargos and you know she's a curvy girl and you know she has nice glutes nice thighs everything so it's really hard to find cargos that like fit a smaller waist with the curvature so when she showed me I was like mm, let me just take a look so of course, being me, <laughs> added to cart, ordered, and I'm in love. So they were talked about on uh, TikTok a lot and then they got sold out really quickly, but I haven't really seen them on YouTube. So I hope if you're looking into getting these, this try on is gonna be helpful for you. As always, I, I will do the video version of me trying things on as I talk. We're gonna start with the beige one because I feel like the beige is gonna be easier to show you the details. Um, and I have a few styles of cargos that I picked up from Aritzia. So I'll show you guys the differences um, because maybe you guys will have a preference but anyways this one this beige one and the black one here are exactly the same I'm gonna show you the beige so you see the details better so this is how it comes you have the little belt loops at the top obviously full closure um, zipper which is nice it has this little detail the fabric on the zipper matches the rest of the pants which I like and then full zip button closure at the top um, the part that I really like about this cargo and which makes it even more authentic I want to say to a cargo is that you can actually tighten the waist with this little um, thing here so you can pull it and tighten the waist as needed you have it on both sides at the back you also have um, some pockets here which are functioning um, on both sides you have this and then obviously being a cargo you have a bunch of like detail pockets on the side I feel like you'll see this part easier when I try it on of course but I just want to give you a close-up visual the quality is amazing um, the one thing I will mention is they don't really have <laughs> stretch at all. Um, it's not super, super stiff of a material, like it's pretty light. That's why I actually feel like these are perfect for the summer. But do make sure that you get your correct size, which I know could be hard because they sell out very quick online and I don't know that they have it in store all the time. But hopefully this try is gonna help you. So again, I'm gonna put my measurements down below. I'm 5'3". Right now I weigh about 146 I want to say um, my waist is about 26 inches glutes are about 42 inches my thighs are about 25 or 26 uh, somewhere around there so I'm a little thicker you know at the bottom with a bit of a smaller waist and I feel like these ones work really well again they're full length on me being 5'3 and then the one thing I'll mention is they do have the bottom um, like so which you can actually tighten with this little um, rope detail which I absolutely love um, and sorry if I'm going in detail it's just I haven't seen videos on these when I was looking to buy them and I had to buy them to try them out so if I can be helpful with giving you these details hopefully you'll appreciate it um, and these ones are called the garden uh, cargo pants um, these are in the color dove white which looks a lot like the birch color if you're familiar with the erase your colorways i got these in a size four and they were 128 dollars now in terms of sizing i just mentioned my measurements size four would be my typical size i would say when something has a little bit of stretch and when things don't really have stretch i usually go to a size six i think when i was ordering the size six was on back order so i was like let me just try size four and if it really doesn't work I'll go in store and do an exchange or something. So size four, it definitely is tight for me right now. But uh, although this material, this fabric doesn't have stretch, I feel like it's gonna have give in the long term, if that makes sense. Um, the other pair of pants that I got, which are also cargo style, I feel like these are more, uh, they're like they've been around at Aristia, I feel like year over year. I'm assuming it's a style that they bring back all the time. It's these ones. So again, the color of this, this one is called birch, and this one is called 
dove dove white i don't see a major difference i, I guess this one's a little bit more beigey um but anyways this pair here is called the modern the modern cargo um here you go so this pair is called modern cargo i got it in size two and it was 128 uh dollars and yeah it's called birch uh, the color is called birch so the one thing i will say is this is a size two the only reason being that it sizes i i feel like it fits a little bit bigger than the other one so the other one i had to get a size four this one the size two fits but i feel it fits definitely fits tight um i gained like some weight from the time that i bought it <laughs> to now me filming this video so if i had to do it again i think i would definitely get a size four but the size two still fits is just a tighter fit uh but overall absolutely love 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 the style and the color of this the one thing i'll mention these are high-waisted um cargo pants whereas the last ones that i showed the garden one are mid-waist so that's just also a matter of preference like if you want really high-waisted pair i would go with the um modern cargo and if you want something a little bit lower rise which is super trendy right now i would go with the garden pants and again like the garden pants are supposed to be more of a mid-waist and I feel like they actually are on me, but if you're shorter, you can sort of like tweak it a little bit so it goes up on your hips a little bit more. Um, so that's just personally what I prefer, but anyways. So anyways, these are the Modern Cargo. They also have the functioning pocket on the side of the leg. The major difference really is in the um, material, I find. I'll try to bring this in. These ones are definitely a little thicker. I feel like they're more like fall and winter appropriate. They could work for, you know, like brunch out or something in the summer, but I do find that the garden ones are a little bit lighter and therefore better for the summer. These ones don't have a, a zip closure. They have like multiple buttons as closure. They have functional pockets in the front. You also have the belt loops in case you do want to add a belt. And then the ankle part is just with this little bit. Um, this finish here you can't actually tighten it is just how it comes so that's another difference between this cargo and the last other things that I got because um, I as you can see or as you will be able to see I kept my colorways very neutral when it comes to Aritzia um, especially because the items are more expensive so I really want to buy things that are not just like trendy or in fashion right now I want to buy things that I can add to my wardrobe and keep for a long time that's typically the way that I shop at Aritzia um so I got some basics which I'm really happy about is just three little shirts they're from Sunday Best and I actually find Sunday Best is a more affordable of the brands that are featured at Aritzia which is great if you're more like on a budget so it's basically these um crop tops as you can see they're like pretty um flowy they're gonna be super nice for the summer it's a ribbed material and i just love the colors so this is what is this called officially this is called a beige olive and it's the bliss shirt by summer's best i got all of them in size extra small and they're 25 dollars um which is not too bad honestly for like a staple shirt so i got it in this olive beige color which if you wanted to kind of almost a tone on tone I feel like would look really great when one of the cargos and then I also picked it up in this um lighter color which I think this is like a marl gray what is this called this is called a cloud white and again I got this in an extra small 25 bucks as well and then I got a third one in this gray color which I actually just wore recently so I don't recall the name of the color off the top of my head, but I'll link all of them down below, of course. Again, this is a size extra small. It's so, so, so stretchy. So if you if your size is out of stock, I feel like you can definitely size down one or two sizes. You'll be fine. Um, like typically, if something doesn't have much stretch, I would be a size small, but size extra small works for these. So the next thing that I got, um, I think I randomly saw it online. When I was browsing and this is actually the um I think this is actually the TNA butter fabric yes that's what it is okay so I'm gonna show you guys a close-up of the TNA butter fabric because oh my god it's so good um it's like more of a plushy finish hopefully the camera picks that up good I absolutely love this fabric like can you can you sense how soft it is? It's absolutely amazing. The one thing, obviously, with fabrics that are more buttery soft, it does tend to pull a little bit more easy, easily, but just, like, make sure you wash your... I consider this sportswear or loungewear or whatever, but I, I wash all of my stuff 
alike together. So all my sportswear, I'll wash it together, etc., etc. And I find that I can, you know, it stays in its state much longer. So anyways, these are the Tiani Butter Stuff fabric, and they're called the Butter High Rise um, pants. I got them in a size extra small, and they were $78. I got these ones in mauve, so I absolutely love this color, and I want to show you guys the detail. These ones have the line going down the leg. Super, 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 super stretchy. So again, it's one of those where... If they don't have your right size in stock, I feel like you could go down a size or two even because it's so stretchy. And then the cool feature is it has that slit at the end of the leg. On the model, I feel like the model is really tall and these almost look like 7 eighths on her. But they are kind of more full length on me, so I actually like where the slit ends. Um, again, they're high-waisted. They're, um, I think they're considered to be a slight flare because of the uh, little opening, but I just find that this color is very beautiful. I didn't have anything like this, so I really wanted to pick this one up. It's called mauve, but I think it has hints of purple and gray, and I just find it very easy to pair with just anything. Again, this is a good loungewear piece, so if you want to do yoga or something like that, I think it's going to work great. I also picked up the exact same one in black because you know black is a staple i've worn these out once and i actually got a ton of compliments because it hugs the body so beautifully um and i have it has the slit at the bottom as well and the the black ones are actually even was able to get into extra small i think that's the only size that they had but when i tell you this like stretches like that's that's the thing you have to be like cautious of because if you get something too big in these sorts of fabrics it won't look as flattering. Again, in that TNA butter fabric, I had been needing and wanting a pair of simple white shorts, not just for the gym, but even to put under like little summer dresses because there's some outfits that I really want to wear in the summer, but either the you know, the dress or the skirt is too short and I just feel like if there's a little bit of wind, um I'm going to be <laughs> very expose and I want to limit that so I've been wanting a little pair of white shorts for you know for example like a white dress and you don't want to show too much if you're gonna bend over or something um so I feel like this is perfect this is a pair of Tiene Butter uh shorts they're the cheeky and they're called oh sorry they're um I think they're called cheeky seven inches so they are a little bit longer I think they have a pair of shorts that's also a 4.5 inch which is way too short for me like to me that's underwear but this is longer so I can actually work with this it doesn't write up it doesn't show the assets or anything so I absolutely love this basic uh pair of shorts Again, it's from TNA. I got this size small when it comes to shorts there's no way I can do an extra small because it's gonna like chop up my thigh and I'm gonna look I think I said this on the last video as well I'm gonna look like a rotisserie thing like it's not gonna look cute you know like my my thigh fat is gonna be divided in two it's gonna be like <laughs> two poles it's not gonna it's not gonna look cute so anyways I got this in size small just for the details this is in the color white and it was $38 size small again got uh, from Aritzia that I really wanted as a another sort of like staple and thing that was missing in my wardrobe was a white skirt the one thing that I did notice as I was trying on again at home is that it's very see-through. <laughs> so it's very unfortunate. Um, you might be able, like, do you see how much you see? It's, uh, it's frustrating. So I don't know how much I'll be able to wear this if I'm not like in a hot summer vacation location or if I'm not at a pool. Like, I don't know if I can pop up in Toronto streets with this. Um, I need to figure... I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. The unfortunate thing is like the top of the skirt is double layered. But then the whole booty cheeks part of the skirt is not. So it's like what are we double layering for? <laughs> I don't need just my belly button double layered. Like I need the whole shabam. So that's just an unfortunate thing. The one thing I'll note, it's super, super stretchy. It has a nice sort of um, scrunch detail on the side. So it's a super flattering skirt. And that's partly why I got it, but when I got home, I realized it was a little bit see-through. The only thing is, it's uh, again, it's $38, which is not too bad, size is small. Guys, this is going to be a long one. I think we're halfway through, but stay with me. Stay with me. This is a good haul for basics. Um, the next thing that I got, I'm absolutely in love with, and I had to force myself to not wear it. Um, so I wouldn't misplace the tag. <laughs> and I was able to tell you guys the description. But it's basically a pair of lounge uh, pants. Like so, in this beautiful color. This is called the Heatherbone color. 
Um, and I think the pants themselves are called the Pisces pants from Wilfred. I did see Wilfred has these in multiple versions. So the one that I have are like a uh, wide leg, but they also had some that cuffed at the bottom and they had some in gray. They had some in blue, I think at one point, but I absolutely just loved this color. I feel like this is a very good you know, like an oatmeal type of color that goes with a lot of different tones. So I absolutely love it. I find that $68 for the uh, material is actually not too bad. I wish you guys could feel this. It's like super, super, super soft. What I got, I actually saw it in the store and I was shocked at uh, the price point because anytime I go to a Ritz and I see something under 40 bucks, I'm like, this is this is weird <laughs> like i'm not used to it i'm not saying it's a good thing or a bad thing but i just felt that way and anyways i wanted to try this this is a babaton um little shirt it's slightly cropped but i feel like it works really well with a pair of high-waisted pants you can keep it a little bit more classy and it doesn't show too much it obviously has a v-neck here with a nice color I really like the structure of this. I absolutely love, love, love the color. If you're not a fan of this, they also have it in a black, which I definitely recommend. The material is actually exactly the same as the bodysuits. Um, you know, like this bodysuit, it's exactly the same one, so I definitely recommend. Um, there's no see-throughness issue. Like whether you're wearing a bra or not, you won't be able to see anything. It's double lined. It's very thick. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to pick that up from the camera. Absolutely love this. I got this in a size extra small. Um, it's called the Sculpt Knit Deep V, and then the color of this is the Matte Pearl. Um, so this was 38 bucks, which I actually find is not too bad, um, and it's a really good basic to have. You can, I was gonna pick it up in black, but I was like, girl, I need to chill a little bit. <laughs> not trying to get alone, but like, you know, it's pretty cute. It's a good basic. Um, I like the structure. I like the v-neck. Makes the tat tats look good. What else can I say? Get it. It's cute. Last that I got, I was really in a brown mood. Um, so I got a pair of pants to go with these. I got this and I got this. And all the same sort of chocolatey tones, which I absolutely love. I do agree brown is a little bit more fall-esque. But I still find that you can rock it spring, summer. Like, it doesn't really matter. I love brown all year long. But anyways, the first thing that I got is this knit top, which I actually just wore out um, two days ago. So I just removed the, the tag. But I think it's literally called... Um, sculpt the sculpt top but i got i got it in the v-neck finish which i absolutely love i have the same top in white and i wore it over and over again especially at work under a blazer and some high high-waisted pants i find it absolutely beautiful it's that really nice ribbed material it's like a thick fabric again no see-throughness issue um the one thing I say is like these kind of tops last for years. So I have some of mine from like four years ago. I wear them time and time again. Um, I'm just very careful in the way that I wash them. But you know, they hold up very well. I think this one was $58 or $68. I'll have to double check and link that down below. But I got this one in a size extra small. And again, this one is actually also in the exact same shade of the jacket that I'm wearing. So it's called the Cognac cognac brown which is absolutely beautiful the next up that I got is actually the same uh, material but it's a different shade of brown um, I wore it out I think last week or something like that it's a deeper brown or did I end up wearing it out? I think I did oh yeah I wore it out and also all these tops come with the little thread um, which is great in case you need it um, so all the knit top like the other one this cult top also came with it so this one I think retails for 48 I think it's a little bit cheaper because it is more of a crop top it doesn't have the same sort of v-neck um, it's more of a straight or slightly scooped neckline but I absolutely love it I think it's a very good basic that I got which I love and for the longest time I was like oh I don't know if I can justify the price I was trying to buy it on Facebook marketplace etc but then I got lazy to meet up with someone <laughs> So I just ended up getting it at Aritzia when I was there, but it is a really, really cute top. I feel like this top has been around for some, like every summer and it just keeps coming back. Um, so it's basically this kind of knit um, top. I'm going to try to show you guys. Um, the nice thing is it's actually not see-through, um, but it's a very beautiful top for the summer. It's fully adjustable in the back and obviously you'll see it better in person, but it has sorts of like crisscrosses and then you just tie the... Um, the string yourself at the back. I love the color of it. I think this is also the birch color, but I need to double check. It is from Wilfred. Yeah, so this one in, in the light birch color. 
I got it in extra small and it's $78. I feel like $78 is a lot for this little top. The quality does feel good and like it looks good overall, but I mean, it could be a little cheaper. But it is very, very cute. I will give it that. I think the way I'm pairing it in the video, because I'm filming the try on tomorrow, but the way I'm going to pair it is with this uh, pair of shorts, which is also the birch uh, color. And this pair of shorts is absolutely gorgeous. If you guys like the um, effortless pants, you will definitely love these ones. I think this is basically the equivalent of the effortless, but in a short form. Um, and let me get the detail for you. So this is... I think it's called the Labyrinth Pants um, in French. That would be called Labyrinth. So I don't know how you actually pronounce it in English, but I absolutely love these ones. Got them in size 4, $98. Again, these are the Birch colorway. Um, absolutely love it. It's a very classic, elegant pair of shorts. It's not too short. I feel like you can wear this in a more of a formal setting. Um, I wouldn't wear this to the office. We're not allowed to wear shorts in my office, but it really depends where you work, I guess. But anyways, I do find that they're very, very classy. I feel like this is perfect for brunch in the summertime. It is rolled at the bottom and it stays that way. Like you can't really um, unroll it. It's stitched, but I actually really like the look of this. It has a full zipper detail and then the little um, secure hook here. Um, I think I mentioned I'm a size four in this effortless. I also wanted to show you guys the two pairs of effortless pants that I got. I eventually want to keep growing my collection of effortless pants because I absolutely love the fit and the feel. I just find them so like effortless. Like it's effort. You look put together effortlessly, which I love. So I got the birch color. I love Hopefully, you can tell through this whole haul, I love this off-white birch color. Um, I'll grab this one so you can see. I haven't worn these out yet, but I've worn my uh, brown ones. Um, but this is actually very similar to the pair of shorts that I was holding. Again, this is by Wilfred, the Effortless. I got mine in size short, which is the perfect length for me. And again, I'm 5'3". Got it in size four, $148, so definitely more on the pricey side, but this is like an investment piece that you're gonna keep for years and years and years, I truly believe so. Just take care of your items and you'll be able to make it last, you know? So these are them. I actually think the back pockets are not um, functional though, just be, be mindful of that, but the front ones are. And then again, this is definitely full length on me because I got the short version. So I think when you're online, you have the option to get um, regular, tall, or short. And they do give you more information as to which height would fit you better, depending on, on your height, so or like which length would fit you better. So definitely take a look. They also do have the uh, belt loops in case you would need that. And then the other pair of pants that I got is the same one as the Effortless, but it's in this beautiful brown color. I think this is also cognac, if I'm not mistaken. I would have to double check, but it's basically... Like it must be because it literally matches the top that I'm wearing. I also got these ones in a size four. Absolutely love them. It is double layered. So for even the light color, you will not have any sort of see-throughness issue. I don't think at all. Then the last two pieces that I got, I absolutely love. I needed to get some dresses for the summertime. So I feel like this haul is definitely spring appropriate and some pieces are a bit more folly because they're a little bit more in the brown tones, etc. But nevertheless, I do think that all the pieces that I showed, you can try to carry them throughout the um, the seasons. Maybe the two things that are more summer uh, or spring uh, pieces would be the ones that I'm holding right now, which are the dresses. So I'll start with the first one. Um, I was so lucky. I actually had been eyeing this dress for months, but it kept being sold out. And finally, I saw it when I was at Eritrea at Yorkdale. This one is the Sunday's Best um, I think this is like one of their best sellers. I see everyone with them. It's called the Shimmer Dress and I got it in, guess what color? Light birch. Um, I'll show you guys here. I got it in a size four and it was $98. The one thing I will say is the size four fits great on like the bottom half of my body, but I feel like size two would have been a little bit more snatched around the waist, but then maybe a little too tight around the bottom half, so I went for a size four. Um, it doesn't look bad though, like I still like it. It's definitely on the shorter end, so I actually feel like the size four maybe added a few inches of, of length, which is great. 
Um, it does also have adjustable straps, which I really appreciate and I feel like it's great It's a great thing to have especially in the dress like this and the last thing that I got I'm in love with um, It's this I was I wasn't sure I was like do I want to spend that much money on a dress? But then I realized I'm like yes I need a staple white dress and this is what it's gonna become so I do need to steam it a little bit So don't judge it too hard but this is the last thing that I got. It's this beautiful, beautiful white dress. I'm going to die if this is also called light birch. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so this is also in light birch. Um, and let me double check. It's called the below, the below midi dress. I got it in size 2 and it was $148. So definitely again on the pricier side, uh, but I absolutely love it I feel like it's one of those things similarly to the effortless pants where you'll be able to wear it year over year over year Like it's a simple staple white dress double layered So I don't have any sort of like see-throughness issue the Waistband here or I don't know if I should call it the waistband But like there's a section here that makes it a little bit more snug on the waist and brings everything in and it's just super super flattering I feel like the just chest area is also absolutely gorgeous you don't have to wear a bra um, necessarily you can wear like nipple pads or like maybe a see-through strapless bra if you wanted to or not a see-through sorry <laughs> um, a beige or a nude or like whatever your skin tone is like uh, something that matches your skin tone as a strapless bra that would work too and then at the back it has a super like stretchy uh, material which makes it so that size 2 fits me because otherwise I think I would have had to go for a size 4 Yes, so I hope you love this Aritzia haul. I know it was a long one, but hopefully it was informative and there's a few things here and there that you really like. And if you get anything for yourself, let me know down below. Let me know what your favorite piece was. If you have any questions regarding to, you know, the links, sizing, etc., let me know in the comments, but I will do my best to put all that information in the description box below. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Thanks.